When you work in Excel, you are probably aware of the fact that there are two main versions of Excel, one being the desktop version that is installed on your computer, and then there is a browser version where you open a browser and then you go to Office and find Excel there. But you may not realize that each one of those versions of Excel have their own ribbon and then the browser version actually has another version of a ribbon. So it has two ribbon versions. We're going to look at the different versions of Excel and the different tabs on those different versions of Excel and compare them because you may decide to create a workbook and say the kind of standard desktop version of Excel and then as you work on it find yourself in a place where you need to use the browser version of Excel and then how do you determine which ribbon you want to use and which one will be the better choice for you so we'll look at all three and compare because there are some buttons that are only on one ribbon and not the other two. And we need to kind of learn which one is going to be the best for the job that we want to do. Hi, I'm Terry, one of the Digital Innovation Specialists from Mid-Continent Public Library. Let's start our series of Excel ribbon comparisons by starting at the Home tab using both the desktop version and the browser version of Excel. As we look at the different home tabs and the different versions of Excel, uh, we'll notice that, first of all, the desktop version ribbon is going to be the most complete and have the most options. And generally, it's that third single line version of the ribbon in the browser version of Excel that will have the fewest options if there's a difference. So starting at the beginning here, as we look at our desktop version, we can see that it of course has a clipboard group, font group, alignment, numbers, styles, cells, editing, and then on the right, I have some groups on my ribbon that you may or may not have depending on whether you're looking at your version of Excel at work or at home and definitely what you have paid for. So we will simply stop at the editing group when we discuss our different versions of Excel. Now, going on from there, as we do a comparison between the desktop version and then the online classic ribbon, we can see that, well, first of all, there's a different group here with the classic online ribbon. But from there, then we have the clipboard, the font, the alignment. Now there are some different buttons, things that are hidden away in one become very visible in another. We have number styles, cells, editing. So for the most part, the online classic ribbon, when we look at the home tab, is very similar to what we see with our desktop version. And then we can, when we click on this button at the right, the down arrow, we can change to the single line version of that browser ribbon. And when we look at the single line, well, it's just a single line. So it's a single line of buttons and it's very much abbreviated. Now, there are some drop downs here that may compensate for what we see as multiple buttons in the other views of the ribbon. But as we go across, we can see that there are definitely fewer buttons. Now, again, it could be that with this single line ribbon that these are the most important or the most used buttons. So maybe depending on how you use Excel, you will never need to use anything except the single line ribbon. But with experience, you will figure that out. Now, one of the things that I noticed right off the bat 
is that when we look at the desktop version of the ribbon, above that ribbon you have what is called the Quick Access Toolbar, and it is on the left-hand side of the title bar. The title bar in Excel is dark green, and generally it has the name of the workbook that you are using, kind of in the middle of the title bar, and then to the left. Now again, this depends on whether you have a home version or a uh, more corporate version of Excel, but you have a save button, for example, and then to the right of that, you have undo and redo, and then you even have an ability with this desktop version of Excel, you can even customize your quick access toolbar so that you can bring up the buttons that you use absolutely the most so they are very convenient. The browser versions, though, don't have the quick access toolbar. So as we do a quick comparison, again, remember, quick access toolbar has undo and redo. The classic browser version has as its very first group on the ribbon, undo and redo buttons. But the single line ribbon, if you choose it, has an undo button with a drop down, which means probably redo as well, but it is part of the clipboard group within that particular home tab. So it's just not necessarily does the button exist, but where can I find it? Now let's look at the first group on the left, which is, for the most part, the clipboard group. As we look at the clipboard group of the home tab for the three different versions of the ribbon, we'll see that with the desktop version, we have cut, copy, paste, and paste has a drop down, meaning that there are several ways that we could paste in information. And then we have the format painter. The classic ribbon for the browser version also has cut, copy, paste, and the format painter. There is a difference in that copy here doesn't have a drop down where there is one here. Now the single line ribbon, we've already seen this group because it has undo with it, but it also has a clipboard for paste and it has the format painter. So we need to investigate the drop down here to see what the choices are. First, let's look at the desktop version of Excel, and let's look at the copy button here and its drop down. And so we can copy, generally that would be some sort of text or numbers, or we can also copy it as a picture, which would change the format a little bit when we paste it in. Switching to the single line ribbon in the browser version, let's look at that drop down because we have a clipboard which looks like the paste button in the other two ribbons and click that drop down. Oh, and so now we do have the ability to cut, copy, and paste. And just as we had with the paste buttons with the other ribbons, we have paste special. So you can paste values only, formulas only, formatting only, and this becomes very consistent with the other versions of the tab. With the other versions of the clipboard group, it's just that they are all under that drop down carrot. The next group in all of these ribbons is the font group. And we're going to find great similarity between the desktop version and the classic browser ribbon as well. 
lines and even quite a bit of similarity with the single line ribbon. So let's look at that. First of all, we have the font name and size. Here we have the font name and size, font name and size. So that is consistent. Now, looking at the desktop version, we also can increase and decrease the font size. We have those same buttons here with the classic ribbon. We do not have them with the single line ribbon. Coming down from here in the lower left of this font group for the desktop, we have bold, italics, underline, and underline has a caret, so we can do a single underline or a double underline. Coming to the classic ribbon, though, we have, again, for the browser version, bold italics underlines. That is the single underline. And then it has a double underline special button that we would have to go to the drop down to find in our desktop version. Now, it also has strike through. To find strike through for the desktop version, we would need to go to what is called the dialog box launcher. Now the dialog box launcher is this little arrow that is in the lower right of each group in our desktop application. And when we click on it, it usually takes us to a dialog box with all sorts of choices and even more choices than we will see on the ribbon. And this harkens back to the early days of Excel and how people originally needed to find the different formatting options. But they still exist here with the dialog box launcher and we would find other things like superscript or subscript with this dialog box launcher. But again, that is not a possibility here with the classic ribbon. Now, as we look at the single line ribbon, we have bold, and then we have, well, that's kind of it, isn't it? At least as an option to begin with. Now, looking back at the desktop version, we have borders. We have the paint pail for filling a cell's background, and we have font color. Same thing here with the classic ribbon. And we even have basically the same choices here with the single line ribbon. However, there are three dots that say more, so we may be able to find more choices there. First of all, let's investigate the dialog box launcher for format cells. And you can see that it does have the font and the font style and the size, but coming down, it has all sorts of underlying choices, and it has color, and then the special effects, strike through, superscript, subscript, and you get even a nice little preview. Now, along with that, you also have the border lines that you can add, and it has the cell backgrounds, the fills that you can do within format cells. Now I've switched over to the single line browser ribbon and of course we know that bold just as bold borders are a little bit different in how they are displayed but let's look at that more button and here we have the grow font shrink font that was kind of invisible it's certainly there with the other versions we have italics and underline we have strike through and double underline. So in fact, several of the options that we might want to use that are very visible between the desktop version and the classic version of the browser Excel are here if we click on the three dot more font options. The next group on the ribbon is the alignment group. And of course, this has to do with how your text and numbers fit within the cells. And as I look at the desktop version of the ribbon, and then I look at the classic ribbon here for the browser version, well, they are basically the same. Now, 
the buttons are in a slightly different order, but for example, the ABC here is wrapped text. We can look at the icon and then match it with the icon and text over here. And so basically, they are exactly the same, just in a different placement. Then we come to the single line ribbon and we have drop downs, thank goodness, because here, well, this looks like left aligned, but where are all those other alignments? Well, we need to look for it. And this is also then merge and center, but it has a drop down that will help me figure out the rest of what this single line ribbon can do. As we look at the dialog box launcher that is in our desktop version, we do have an alignment tab here and it lets us get fairly specific about how we want the text to align. And it even gives us the wrap text, but shrink to fit is something that we haven't seen any place else. And then right to left text direction, very interesting. The orientation lets us change the orientation, but in a diagram, this gives us a way to actually click and drag and change the text or numeric alignment within a cell. This also does show up in that AB button, but it's a little more obvious here with your format cells. Moving over to the single line ribbon, let's look at alignment. And again, it has a drop down. And this is where we get all of those choices that we have with the other ribbons. So we can left and center and right align. We can top, middle, and bottom align within a cell. We can increase and decrease in dents. And this even lets us change the diagonals and how we want the letters to appear within a cell. So this has most of the same options as the other ribbons, it's just that it's all under this one button. Now, wrapping text is still its own unique button. And then let's go to the merge button and we can merge and center, merge across, merge cells, unmerge cells. There may be more options with the other ribbons, but certainly these are the most likely choices for merge and center as well. So again, you just need to know that even if the button doesn't appear within that single line ribbon, chances are you will be able to find it. The next group is the number group. And looking at this desktop ribbon group, we can see that, yes, we have a drop down for general where we can choose numeric and date formats. But generally, we can always go with currency all over the world in general. We have a percent button, a comma button that allows commas for the thousands place and then it adds to decimal places as well. And then we can increase or decrease the number of decimals. This is identical to your browser's classic ribbon. No changes, it's just that the buttons display slightly different. Now with the single line ribbon, it leaves out the percent and the comma formats, but those should show up under the general dropdown. So in fact, these are extremely similar as we go through. One of the smaller groups that has very few buttons is the styles group. And for the desktop version, it contains conditional formatting where I can determine how a cell is formatted based on its contents. I can format it as a table, which a lot of people find a great shortcut that it has predetermined formats that we can add to our spreadsheet. And then cell styles. And while there are some pre-created cell styles, you also have the option to create your own. As we look at the classic ribbon, 
we have exactly the same choices there. But on the single line ribbon, we have only the conditional formatting and the format as table choices. Next on the ribbon is the cells group. And as we look at this, the desktop version of the ribbon and the classic browser ribbon have exactly the same choices. And a lot of people will use a right click instead of coming to this group, but this is a way to insert, delete, or format by way of making rows and columns visible, invisible, or making rows taller or columns wider as part of your work with your spreadsheet. These are exactly identical, but what is interesting is when you get to the single line ribbon, we will find that on the far right of that ribbon, we have a three dot more button. And believe it or not, that is where we can find cell styles that we just looked at that we said didn't appear within the styles group and yet here it is in the more button so you kind of have to look for it to find it but it does exist and then below that we have the cells group right here insert delete and format and then as a carryover we also have the clear button that will go with the editing group that we'll look at next and so the single line ribbon has a lot of the last buttons that you'll see with the desktop and the classic ribbon. It's just they've all been combined under that three dot more button. The last group that we're going to look at today is the editing group. It's an important group. It has the auto sum button that not only do you sum rows or columns, it has other very common functions that you might want to use like average and count. The desktop application has a fill button that kind of works the same way that the fill handle does. It allows you to fill in sequences and patterns of formulas and numbers but it does not exist within the classic ribbon view and it doesn't seem to exist here in the single line ribbon as well. Now the button here which looks like an eraser does exist in the desktop and classic ribbon but remember that we found it already within the more button as the last drop down option within the single line ribbon. We also have then sort and filter, and notice that those show up all the way across the same button. And then we have a find and select button, the magnifying glass, and it also is in all three of those ribbons. And so very little difference between the buttons that you find in the editing group for the three different versions of Excel and its ribbon. To learn even more, be sure to go to mymcpl.org forward slash online learning for such great resources as Universal Class, Learning Express Library, LinkedIn Learning, and Udemy Business. We also premiere videos every Wednesday and Friday at 1 o'clock. If you miss a video premiere, you'll still be able to find it later when it's convenient for you. You can find us on Facebook at MCPL360, and you can find us on YouTube by going to our MCPLMO channel.